Hi Taurus, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for the month of November. This is for Taurus Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for the month of November. Hold on. There we go. Sorry. So anyway, keep in mind that the timing is fluid. Okay, the timing is fluid. Um, could happen at any time in November. Could be happening now when you watch this. Could be happening after November. Okay? So this is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. What do we have? Dear God, Angels, Spirits, and Universe. Seven of Cups reverse. You're seeing a situation clearly. There's, there's a. It's like the end of confusion. It's like you've made a decision, or a decision has been made. Page of Wands reverse. Now that's not good news. Three of Cups. Temperance. Temperance. Things are balanced out. Things are becoming more balanced. You're being more. You know, things are more in harmony now. You're probably out socializing. You're having fun. But the Page of Wands reverse. You could have been dealing with a Debbie Downer. And you've made a decision not to deal with this person anymore. This could be a child. Doesn't have to be. This could be a friend that is very petty. very ch That is negative in your life. Um, this is something that is not good for you. Or somebody that is not good for you. This is your uh, like a meddler. Okay. Somebody that is very immature, but this is a decision has been made. You see, you may see that you are dealing with somebody that is childish, um, petty, negative, doesn't have anything good to say. You may see that. It could be one of your friends. It could be one of your friends, just saying. Um, but this temperance card is uh, a card of balance and harmony and renewal as well. I think that you are regaining balance in some sort of situation. Uh, things are starting to even out for you in some way. Three of Wands reversed. Now, there's been a delay of some sort. Dashed expectations with the Three of Wands reversed. You, and this is lack of foresight as well. So you may not have seen that you were dealing with somebody. You may have, somebody may have been uh, portraying themselves to be somebody that they were not. And now you see. You may be dealing with a fire sign, an Aries Leo Sagittarius. Um, Seven of Pentacles reverse. No longer investing. It's this is unrealistic. It's dissatisfying. There's no reason to even hang on to this. This person is unstable, insecure, and they may bring their insecurities onto you. Okay. Um, hmm. It's like you may have lost faith in this person completely. This person could be a gossip. Could be a friend. This is somebody that is a gossip, and you may see the situation completely clearly. This person acts like a child. Queen of very, uh, very immature. The Queen of Cups reverse. Could be dealing with a Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or a Queen of Cups, which is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You may even have uh, people against you. You know, people working against you. I'm sorry to say that, but it appears that could be the case. Could be three, three people against you. Okay. Um, I think it's it's an emotional time when you see the Queen of Cups in reverse. You could be dealing with somebody that is very emotional and, you know, they can't master their emotions. So they want, this is your negative Nelly. You have somebody in your life that it's almost like this person doesn't, they, misery loves company. Ace of Swords reversed. Wow. So this person um, is dishonest. This is a dishonest individual who is at a loss of the, in themselves. They, it's, they feel, they're feeling a loss of power. Whoever you're dealing with is feeling a loss of power. And it's like you're doing quite well. You're, you're in your power. You're feeling, you're just, you know, where you need to be. You're feeling very comfortable with yourself. You're probably trying to have fun. And, you're, and it's like you're dealing with somebody that is dishonest. They don't tell the truth. They're emotional. They probably they could use emotional blackmail. Somebody could be trying to blackmail you. Vindictive. This person sees themselves as a victim. They have a victim mentality. I think that you are dealing with somebody that um, 
is is very dishonest. Definitely. Nine of and they're dissatisfied. They are dissatisfied. They're unhappy. You're dealing with a miserable person, Taurus. Could be a friend. Could be a mother. Could be a mother-in-law. Could be a uh, something like that. Somebody. It's it's a it's a female. It is a female. So if you are the male, it could be the girl, the woman that you are dealing with. If you are the male, you there is a woman here that is um, emotional. She is. Um, vindictive, she sees herself as the victim, poor, poor, pitiful me, uh, she cries a lot, she's just a big baby, that's the way it goes, and you know, she, 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 uh, is, she says things that aren't true to bring, that may try to bring you down, okay, three of swords, reverse, this is letting go of the past hurts, recovery, recovering from a past hurt two of swords this is uh seeing the light but you've somebody has been wearing a mask somebody hasn't been telling the truth and you may have been uh not seeing it now we have a third party situation up here. Somebody may have involved themselves in a third party situation. Could be, you know, and somebody wasn't aware of it. It's like you know it, but you've been in denial about it. Somebody has been in denial. Somebody hasn't been telling the truth. They could have engaged in a third party situation with somebody. And, you know, it's like you know it deep down, but somebody has been in denial. Now this is a card of purpose. And it's a card of exchange as well. It is time. And this is a card. The time is now. The time is now to let go of these hurts. To let go of this pain. And probably open your eyes and accept the truth. And make your move. Ping this person. I think that you will be pinging this person this month. Whoever this person is. I think that we have somebody here that... Um, may have been dissatisfied in a situation you know they may have been dissatisfied at home and they went looking for somebody that was easy perhaps i think somebody invested their time and energy in another person and i think that you see the situation clearly and you're about to uh ping them um ace of wands reversed wow Look at the freaking reversals. That means there's an absence when you get reversals. There's an absence of success. So somebody is in a situation where it's like there's no opportunity for success because somebody has involved them in a third party situation. They have. They've gotten a person involved, a meddler. There's a meddler here. They may have even had sex with another person. Okay. If this is in love related. It's like there's a, there's like there's a new sexual partner and it's like they get caught. You, you may have not wanted to believe it or not wanted to see it or, or not wanted to accept it, but the truth is in the pudding, right? The proof is in the pudding, whatever. I feel as though um, somebody's expectations are going to get dashed really fast. And I'm sorry to give this message to you, Taurus, as you all know that I'm Taurus Gemini. I'm about half and half, honestly. Pretty damn close. Anyhow, um, some say I'm more Gemini, but we won't get into that right now. I act like one, don't I? Anyhow, um, Ace of Wands reverse. This is something going south real fast. Something going down real fast. No longer investing in something real fast. This is very, this is dissatisfaction and this is dissatisfaction. So you are going to, you're probably going to receive some news from somebody. Uh, not good news that whoever you are dealing with has done something that is, uh, painful. It's hurtful. Um, and you may not want to believe it, but it's whatever this person tells you, I think it's it probably uh, it's gonna hurt you. It is gonna hurt you. Uh, you could be dealing with a King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer. You definitely somebody's dealing with a Water sign for sure. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This person doesn't have good intentions. They never had good intentions. This person. Uh, overindulges and wants to have their cake and eat it eat, and eat it too. I mean, and if I said it before that when I said I want they want to have the whole cake, they want to this, this is a pig. You're dealing with a pig, Taurus.
So anyway, um, this guy is very dishonest, um, doesn't care who they hurt. And I think this person has, um, you know, very sneaky. I think this person is very sneaky. I think this person thought that they were going to get away with involving a third party. And I think deep down that you know that they are. And that, you know, I think that the person that they engaged with is going to be upset. And they are going to speak up. So I think that, the, the like I said, the proof is in the pudding. I think the person that they uh, cheated with, if they cheated, you know, is going to be the one that speaks up. This person's going to be upset. This person's going to be upset that, you know, they were used. That the person that had sex with them isn't investing in them. So I think there's going to be some drama. If this is sexual related, there's going to be some drama. Somebody, if you are single... If, if you are single and this is not your story, you're probably going to be out socializing, having fun. Um, but you need to be careful as well. You need to make sure you're, you're not having any beer goggles on. You're not wearing any masks because you don't want to get scooped up by a player if you're drunk. You know, you could go out, have fun, and, you know, get scooped up by somebody that doesn't have any good intentions. They're in love with another woman. So it feels like we have somebody here that is in love with another woman. Therefore, they don't care who they hurt. They don't care who they hurt because they can't have that person. It's like that person they can't get along with. So they're just choosing anybody. You know, I feel as though the person, the third party is going to get upset. The third party is going to get upset. And um, it's like you don't even see it coming. This person just comes out of the woodwork they just show up they just come out of the woodwork and um change things it changes everything this changes everything it does it changes everything so i think that you're if if you are in a relationship if you are in a relationship now it, it could be the the temperance card is a card of evolving it's a card of change and I think there is definitely a third party here, and I think one of the, the the one that was on the other side is is going to, you know, get pissed per se. This person is going to step up, step up, and and spill the beans. All right, and it's because they're hurt. They're hurt that the person that used them is not investing in them. So pain will make you do. Pain will make somebody react. I'm a victim here. I was a victim. So this victim of circumstance, this is a victim. This victim that got involved is uh, going to speak up. They're going to speak up. So be prepared if this is your story. Um, if you are single and you are watching this and you are out and you are partying and you are socializing, be careful. The person that you are dealing with may be sneaky. They may see this got a wink. They may, may have some tricks up their sleeve. Make sure that you have your eyes wide open. You could be you could run into somebody that doesn't have good intentions. They just want to use you for sex. They don't care who they hurt because they're in love with another woman. And, you know, they can't make it work with that person. This is what I see. They can't make it work with that person. They're very dissatisfied with their life. They're not emotionally available. Uh, they don't plan on... on uh, Anything other than sex, okay, they don't plan on building a relationship, so you need to be really careful. So I think November is a, really a month of seeing a situation clearly, and it's like right in front of your face. You can't deny it, even though deep down you knew it, but now you can't deny it because it's like this person is looking at you. This person is looking at you, and they're saying to you, this is, this is what happened, and you're like, fuck. So, yeah, what else do we have for Taurus in November? What about for the single Tauruses? Um, there's definitely dashed expectations. So, yeah, I'm serious. I mean, there is. There's there's a lot of dashed expectations here. It's like, this, it's like you, you thought this was a dream come true. It's not. It's not. Oh, God, the truth is about to be revealed. The, somebody's dealing with the Pisces. Or cancer. But the moon reversed. This is some sort of truth being revealed. It can't be hidden. Somebody has been lying. They've been deceiving. I think they've been cheating. I'm I know they have. I've seen it with my own eyes. 
So anyway, uh, somebody has been cheating and they're about to get caught. So I hope this isn't for you. I really hope that it isn't, but I'm pretty sure it is. Um, if you are single, if you are completely single and this is not your story, you probably will run into somebody that doesn't have good intentions. They have secrets. And I think they're in love with another person. So be careful. I will do I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna start doing these weekly. This is for November. I do apologize that this is the message that you get, Taurus. But this is what I see. This really is a blessing in disguise with the temperance card. This is a blessing, it really is. It's a blessing in disguise that this be revealed. It needs to be revealed so that you can uh, get the love that you deserve. I have a reading to do here in a minute, but I'm going to get one of these. Taurus, November. Something is about to go down. Somebody who may be relocating, moving out. Just, i got to be honest with you. Um, November for Taurus. We got two. We're going to take them both. Serenity. The most important relationship you can have is with yourself, Taurus. It's with yourself. This is a time to honor, nurture, and love yourself more by seeking out and removing any negative feelings and emotions that are left over from yesterday. Don't let past issues and resentments interfere with your serenity today. That's a good message, ain't it? Find your center. Your outside world is a reflection and a manifestation of what's going on inside you at this time. When the outside world becomes too hectic and stressful that your anxiety starts to overwhelm you, then this is an ideal moment to stop and ask, when was the last time I checked in? with myself that's a good question because we have somebody here that's been in denial not seeing the truth but whatever you've been in denial about it's about to be revealed it's like you're gonna this is seeing a situation clearly and this is seeing a situation clear it's like the shadow is removed what was hidden is about to be shown be prepared you're not going to be prepared for it with the three of wands reverse. You're not. You're not going to be prepared for this. Let's get one of these. I got a reading to do here in a minute. Private reading. Door to value. Oh, Taurus. Taurus. Door to value. Make sure that you know your value during this time. Your, your value will be tested. Your self-value. Your self-worth. There's also a, a new door opening for you. Maybe it's time to focus on your business. Focus on your, your income. Focus on your job. Focus on your money. Whoever this person is that is uh, a player, you're gonna that rip, that that mask is about to be ripped right off. Good luck. <laughs> 